Hi, this is Mato. I have an exciting news for my subscribers. Friends of my chess channel can get Susan Polgar's chess course at extremely low price. The Polgar method includes a complete opening repertoire, all the essential endgame knowledge, plus masterclasses on positional, attacking and defensive play. So for a short time only, you can get this great progress method at a very low price. Let's have a look at one of the Susan's games. In this video I will show you a game between Susan Polgar and Peter Hadisei. This is a game from Hungarian Championship played in 1985. Susan was only 16 years old. In this game she had white pieces and she started with d4. Peter Hadisei played knight to f6. c4 c5 going for Benoni defense, d5, e6, knight to c3, e takes on d5, this is the main line, c takes on d5, d6, knight to f3, g6, bishop to f4, a6, e4, these moves have been seen many times in the past before, bishop to g7, and now queen to a4, check, bishop to d7, Queen to b3, attacking the pawn now on b7. How to defend the pawn? Hmm? Looks like bishop to c8 would defend the pawn, but this is not an exciting move. Peter wanted to play adventurous chess. He played bishop to g4, making the pawn on b7 a poisoned pawn. White move. To take or not? Is the pawn really poisoned? Would you take? Susan did. We have queen takes on b7, bishop takes on f3, queen takes rook, knight takes on e4. White move. Susan played the best move. Rook to c1. Peter was counting on this continuation. Pawn takes bishop and after knight takes on c3, pawn takes knight, bishop takes on c3, check. Winning the rook and the game. But Susan played rook to c1. Bishop to d4. Pressure is on the pawn on f2. Rook to c2 defending. Knight takes on f2. Rook takes knight. Bishop takes rook check. King takes bishop. Bishop to g4. White to move. And now comes the best part of the game. Bishop to b5 check. Sacrificing the bishop in order to activate the rook quickly. Pawn takes bishop, rook to e1 check, king to f8, bishop to h6 check, king to g8, and now... What would you do now? Susan played rook to e7. What a move! Tempting black to capture the rook. Of course, the rook is a taboo. Bishop to d7 was played. What will happen if queen takes rook? Let's have a look. If queen takes on e7, then queen takes knight. And how to defend the king? Like this? Checkmate. Okay, so in the game we have bishop to d7. White to move. What would you do now? This is the most interesting moment of the game. Please pause the video and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? Susan Polgar. Sacrifice the queen. What a move. Queen takes queen. What else? Bishop to c8. Queen takes queen. White move. White. Play the move and black resigned. The move is knight to e4. Black resigned. Why? Let's play a random move. Which random move? Bishop to f5. And then, knight to f6, check, mate, what a game, what a brilliant attack, what do you think of this game? Back to Susan's chess course. Susan is unique in her ability to create such a program. A former prodigy, her father's training methods help her and her sisters to achieve astounding success setting and breaking records wherever they went. For a short time only, 
you can get this great method, the program method, at a very low price. And that is all. Bye for now.